21 secrets in video games, baby. It's a T5G react. A Minecraft Easter egg to a cruel message hidden by the devs. These are 21 secrets in video games. If Do you ever notice the YouTuber voice? It happens in pretty much every single video, but I've really, really locked onto it from Mr. Beast videos where the f there'll be two sentences in a chunk and every sentence will end on a high and then come down on a low. It'll be like 21 secrets in video games. This is everything that we could find. <laughs> it's, it's, I I've locked onto the YouTube voice, and now that you've heard it, then you will remember it for every YouTube video that you watch in the future. If you thought Chris Have fun. Pratt was an interesting choice for Mario, there's this secret voice actor who made it 10 times worse. The placeholder lines for Super Mario 64 were accidentally left in, and anyone who dug them up found a hilarious surprise. Is it a developer? <laughs> Awesome. Oh my god. You know how I want to voice the Mario? I want Guzzlord to voice Mario. That'd be great. That's awesome. I wish they'd left that in. I want a more realistic Mario. I want a Mario that sounds like he's dated. I want a Mario that sounds like he's tired. Because after all that running, I know his cardio must be insane, but he's got to tire out at some point. I want a Mario that's gonna go, when he drops into the lava, he's gonna say, Ah! Oh god! Still not as shocking as this secret item in Cyberpunk that has an insane twist. As you rob Yorinobu's Is it a bop house, it? a tiny egg can be found underneath this log. Now the game just calls this job and it's clearly not that important. Iguanas are not junk. exactly what the devs want you to think. If you take this back to your apartment, it can be placed down as a decoration where you'd never really think about it again. Does it hatch? Check back here a few months later and a fully grown iguana will Aww. now be living in your apartment. Oh my God, that's so awesome. I'm gonna be honest, that's better than getting a dog. Lots of games, and I love dogs, don't get me wrong, but so many games just give you dogs. Having an iguana as a pet, that's awesome. And also he's, he's on the bevs. He's on the, looks like Bud Light. <laughs> Who would have thought? While Call of Duty keeps its best secrets inside of zombies, multiplayer has this one oh, yeah, Easter does. egg that's pretty mind-blowing. Now, MW 2019 has this innocent-looking train station map, but for some reason, players started shooting these random rocks, which showed some numbers. After destroying all six of these, a keypad is then revealed, and I don't think anyone was expecting to summon this. Is that a teddy bear? One game whoa, 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 whoa. You can't just scroll past that. Was that a funny? That's a massive teddy bear that then gets attacked by. You know what? If you do that, you should just win the game. It should only happen once. The first person to ever discover this should immediately win the game. Then you can't do it ever again. That would have been such a cool little Easter egg. Oh, people would have loved that. The guy that lost wouldn't have loved it, but it would still be so cool, wouldn't it? And if there's one game out there that lets you do anything, it's Just Cause 4. But even Jesus this sandbox Christ. has its limits. Now, you're not supposed to breathe underwater for long, but a YouTuber named Rico Star found a way to do it with some impressive movement techniques. After swimming what, is that Bennett was getting a few over it? seconds of air left, he found a secret message at the bottom of the sea saying, you don't belong here. And then a second later, he drowned. And I can't tell you how Yeah, the devs never thought anyone would get that. actually lets us play instruments like the realistic guitar in The Last of Us or even the ocarina in Zelda. But this guitar in Serious Sam lets you do a whole lot more than just play. If you keep strumming it over and over, eventually it'll come to life. Oh no. It's the show me what you got guy from Rick and Morty. And while we're on the topic of iconic missions, you probably remember CJ and Big Smoke Oh, no, like this goddamn mission. Now, it was a pretty hard mission, but each time you failed to get this reminder. supposed to follow the damn train, CJ. All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. I will kill you. I will kill you, Big Smoke. I swear to God, I will. You'll be getting no two number fives, no number 25 launch. This was engraved in our minds for so long, the cyberpunk just had to reference it. Over on the train tracks, you'll find two dead guys called JC and Little Smoke, and their combo, of course, ends with... All you had to do was follow the damn train, JC. And that's Good reference. The only I appreciate that. Someone paid homage to San Andreas. Now, everyone knows about the bridge that says, there's no Easter eggs up here, go away, which is already pretty unsatisfying. And Destroy All Humans must have also not been a fan because they decided to get a little justice on Rockstar. They built an exact recreation. 
Destroy All Humans is such an underrated series. I know they made the remasters recently, but this is such a good game. I had so much fun playing this and I didn't know a single other person when I was a kid that played Destroy All Humans. So I was just sitting there enjoying my time, loving it, absolutely loving it. And then I had no one to talk about it with. It was so sad, but it's such a good game. Creation of the scene and added a basket of Easter eggs as revenge. Ah. And there's some unexpected secrets that can totally catch you off guard, like in Viscera cleanup where your only job is to clean. One day a player randomly hit this rock, which got smaller, so they kept hitting it until a hidden cave was revealed. Inside of it, you'll find the world of Minecraft with the iconic pickaxe on display. Now, Dying Light has a secret that's a little more interactive, but it also confused thousands of its players. At one point in the game, you can find this crater, which spawns hundreds of DVDs. But <laughs> I thought that was going to go way different. I thought they were going to be porn magazines. I'm going to be completely honest. It's not even the weirdest part, because a mysterious blueprint has a chance of appearing with it. Once built, you'll see that it's What's literally that? just a chance. Chicken on a stick, and you might be thinking Whoa. this is a troll from the devs, but the no, it's is actually insane. <laughs> Yo! What the hell? Moving on over. Wait, does it actually make that boink noise, or was that edited in? It makes the boom noise when you hit someone with it. Good. That deserves to be like the strongest thing in the game. I I'm totally down with that. Into pizza, Strafe unlocked a hidden room after people blew up these servers in a specific order. At first glance, it's pretty underwhelming, like it's basically just a kitchen with some ammo and a microwave. But that's until you open the cupboard, revealing pizza, pizza rolls. rolls. Now, trying to eat these will cause your player to shake them up before cutting the bag open and pouring them into a bowl. This is already so what? weird, but now all you gotta do is heat them up in the microwave, except- One of our failures as a country in the UK is that we do not have pizza rolls. Actually, is that a failure or is it a success? I do- kind of want pizza rolls. They sound really good. I'm kind of craving them now. Damn it, I'm craving pizza rolls now. We don't have them. No one does pizza rolls This yet. turns it into a portal, transporting you to a pizza world. What? No way. I swear to God, this game must have been sponsored by Totino's or whatever the but company even is. But that isn't as memorable as this secret from Crash Bandicoot. Now, you've probably seen the real-life mascot invading some of your favorite events, but did you know he could also break no? into your what? game as well? In the Japanese version of Crash 2, anyone who pressed these buttons would activate a secret video. It showed Crash going on dates, flying around with a jetpack, and doing some really inappropriate dance. Damn. Okay, Crash. Damn, he's got more confidence than I do. I respect it's it. It's moves. Cash Panuka got some moves. Look at him go. But if there's one game that has the best Easter eggs, it's Battlefield. And seven years ago, one had the entire community. Is that true? Is that really the one with the best Easter eggs? I don't know. What are you trying to help solve it? It all started with these red valves and turning them on would cause water to run out of the pipes and create this giant puddle. Players then realized they could throw grenades into this tiny hole, which would cause a creature to start growing. But the final step took what? a super long time to a solve. A creature? It wasn't until someone tried stabbing three enemies in the puddle that they would meet the Megalodon. Oh, all you have to do is sacrifice your friends to the Mega Shark. That's all you have to do and start worshipping it as your god, obviously. And if there's anything we can relate to, it's being kept waiting. And for someone as fast as Sonic, my man's gotta be super impatient. That's why leaving him alone in Sonic CD isn't the best idea, because after three minutes, he just gets bored. <laughs> Wait, that's what happens when you run out of time, right? He's just like, ah, I'm, I'm bored. I'm get out of here. I got stuff that I got people. I got places to go be fast at. I got a race and then I got another marathon that I got to do. What are you doing? You make me wait around all this time. What are you doing? And if you only have I'm a small amount of time, then Far Cry 5 might be for you because you can beat the entire game in just minutes. In the opening cutscene, you arrest the main villain and take him back to your helicopter, but this is where things go terribly wrong. The cultists then leap onto your heli, saving their leader, and this unfortunately ends with you being burned alive. But this Christ. is what you're thinking. Sounds really unfortunate, yeah. That just sounds pretty bad. What if there was another way? If you restart the game and just stand in the church refusing to arrest the leader, after a few minutes, a secret ending will unlock. You put those cuffs on him. None of us get out of here alive. Yeah, you did yeah, it! Me before. Do you feel accomplished? Why does every Far Cry game have a, an ending like that where <laughs> you can just, in Far Cry 4, you can sit at a table and the main villain looks you dead in the eyes and says, wait here, and then you can go. And if you sit at the table and wait for 15 minutes, he comes back and he's like, cool, thanks. All right, you can go now. And then that's the end of the game. You just get to go. There's no video game. You don't get to play the video game. That's it, that's GG's. It just got remade, and I'm praying that it includes one of my favorite secrets from the original. Inside of the forest, you can find this dog whimpering 
after it gets caught in a bear trap. No, this is so let him out. And you can either let him out. be like a monster, put him oh. out of his misery, or rescue him from the trap. Now, of who, who the fuck would shoot the dog? No, if you get sh if you shoot the dog, it's jail. It's jail immediately. You don't get a choice. Police at your door, knocking it down, jail. Course, we all saved him and never really thought about it again, but I don't think anyone was expecting to see him reappear a few hours later to help with one of the hardest bosses in the game. Good boy. Good boy. Now, I'm afraid. Oh, I love him so much. Oh, I love Karma. And he makes a comeback, but there's a secret you can do right now in the chainsaw demo that doesn't even appear in the full game. There's a small chance when you load it up that you'll get offered a mad chainsaw mode, but there's actually a way to activate this every single time. If you enter this code, it gives Dr. Salvador a flaming chainsaw, but less health and way more aggressive enemies. And I gotta say, this is the best <laughs> Resident Evil mode. The kicking the ladder thing for the, the, the main boss just getting smacked off the ladder. No way, go back. I have to see that one again. Yeah, go on, kick it, kick it there. Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, that's some good stuff. I, I do like that. Flaming chainsaw, but less health and way. Actually, you know what? Why don't we? Why don't we really slow this one down? Take a nice, good look at it. Enemies. Oh, uh, hey, there he goes. So I see you later, there, me. Oh, and he's back up again. Hey, how you doing? I, I want to slow it down even more. We're gonna go with a 0.25 speed. And Oh, oh, here, eh, oh, see you later. Okay, goodbye now. Brilliant, fantastic. Yeah, back to normal, please. Still not as shocking as Modern Warfare 2's plot twist that hit us all right in the fields. In the original game, Shepard famously betrays you, leaving ghosts. Spoilers! Uh, uh, damn it, okay, well, in Modern Warfare 2, you get betrayed. So when the remastered version released a decade later, you know we were all still holding a grudge. While well, Assassin's Creed fire. Shepard gives you a game over, an achievement now pops up to let you know, hey, we totally get it. Precognitive get paranoia. Isn't that kind of a spoiler for people that haven't played the game already? Maybe they're playing the first one, the remaster for the first really time. really weird and hit me. And they're just like, you know what? I I hate American imperialism. I actually th th think that the whole military industrial complex is a terrible thing and then goes full to betrayal we'll already. The last resort mission. You're busy running around and eliminating targets, but you might also come across the these pamphlets. They promote the island's activities, and just like the people handing out flyers, one wrong move and you'll end up with a dozen of these things. If your abundance of pamphlets is driving you insane, you might want to go on a violent rampage, but whatever you do, don't shoot this woman in the pool. If you do, a nearby swimmer will dive into the ocean out of fear, which unlocks the ultimate secret, Moose Nato. That paragraph that he just said, that paragraph of script is the most insane fucking thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Just the way that he talked about, oh, you may accidentally have 12 pamphlets. And when you have 12 pamphlets, make sure that you don't shoot this person that is just hanging around the pool. Because if you shoot this innocent woman and hanging around the pool, then another guy's gonna dive into the water. And when he dives into the water, it's gonna summon Moose Nato. Like, oh yeah, no, Pfft, of course. <laughs> Of course, I sh should have known that would happen. Duh. Another game that has an insane hidden secret is Wii Sports Resort. The bowling mini game is iconic, and I bet you guys remember the option to play with a hundred pins. Not only do they take up a ton of space, that is so the satisfying. Are on, so it's literally oh, impossible so satisfying. to miss. But if you lined up your shot directly with the bumpers, you'd unlock an amazing Easter egg. Yeah, you suck. <gasps> no, you don't Nintendo suck. Nintendo also paid homage to one of their most famous employees, Satoru Iwata, who passed away in 2015. At the time, Rest they were working on Breath of the Wild, and the director once said, there were moments we'd come up with an idea which we'd be excited to talk to Iwata about, but oh, then we'd remember no. he's no longer here. So when oh, the game dude, finally released so two years later, it was only right to include a tribute to Iwata in the form of an NPC. He has the exact same haircut and glasses, and his quest description says, this holy creature is a reincarnation of a sage that died on the lands it now protects. It's sometimes known by its other name, Satori. And if you guys Aww. didn't know, Satori is derived from the name Satoru, so yeah, this is a pretty amazing tribute. But I don't- Oh man. That goat. Rest in peace. I think you'll struggle with identifying this prop in Internet Cafe Simulator. Over by the dumpsters, people found the corpse of a small astronaut with a huge bone sticking out. No! Now, God damn it, no! This is a crewmate from Among don't. Us, but if yeah. you still needed a hint, just report the body. Amogus. Uh. <laughs> and those were 20. <laughs> Plays bass boosted out. Amogus. That's so dumb. But you know it's not dumb. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, if you want me to watch a video, just post it in the Discord server. Links in the description.